This is the final resting place of Napoleon Bonaparte. His body is entombed in this 15-foot-tall red quartzite sarcophagus, which sits atop a base of green granite. Inside, the body of the man who was once the most powerful person on earth lies in the center of a series of nested caskets made from mahogany, oak, ebony, lead, and tin plate. The tomb is in the rotunda of a royal chapel and a large building complex that once served as a military hospital and retirement home for France's war veterans. Les Invalides, as it is known, is in the heart of Paris. It was built in 1676. The dome of the chapel, said to be one of the inspirations for the U.S. Capitol building, is modeled after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Napoleon died at the age of 51 on May 5, 1821, after six years of exile on the island of St. Helena's. He was sent there after an ill-fated attempt to return to power after escaping his first exile on the island of Elba. He rallied his army for one last battle at Waterloo in 1815. Nineteen years after Napoleon's death, French King Louis Philippe asked the British to allow the body to be brought back to France. It arrived in the capital in 1840, but it wasn't until 1861, when work on the tomb was completed, that the emperor was finally laid to rest. There were rumors that he had been poisoned, but recent medical tests show he died of stomach cancer. For many, Napoleon was a great military and political leader. They see him as a hero and a visionary, but others saw him as a great villain and a scourge. Napoleon was five feet, six inches tall, average height for his time, but the English often portrayed him as excessively short for propaganda purposes. Later, psychologists theorized that his stature must have accounted for his drive to conquer, and the Napoleonic complex was born. In his tomb, Napoleon is surrounded by family members and a host of French military leaders, including Marshal Foch, Supreme Allied Commander in World War I. Les Invalides is also the site of an outstanding military museum. Despite all of his flaws, the French have embraced Napoleon and celebrate his greatness and his good qualities that led the nation out of the chaos of the revolution into the modern era. <laughs>